Hello, pen pals. It's Silent Signs from I Dream of Indie, and today we are taking a look at Letters, a Written Adventure. Letters tells the story of a young girl named Sarah and her coming of age, which we get to experience through a series of letters to her pen pal, as well as her instant messages in the early days of the internet, if you all remember AIM and screen names and away messages. Am I dating myself with these references? Maybe, but speaking of dating, you might be doing a little bit of that too. I don't want to delve too deeply into the story here because it is a fairly short game and to talk too much about the story would be spoiling a lot for you, though I will say that there are different possible outcomes based on the decisions that you make in the game. What's interesting about the gameplay is that this is somewhat of a puzzle platformer despite being fairly narrative heavy and the way that they accomplish that is Sarah is walking around on her own lines of text. Whether it be a letter, a notebook, or a website, Sarah is able to use the words on screen to help advance the story. And the way that she does this is by lifting up the actual words themselves and either tossing them at an image or a messaging window in order to advance the story in some way. So in some instances, one of the images will be blocking your path from one line of text to the next. So you'll need to find a way to move that image in such a way so you can get down to the next line. In other instances, you'll be looking for the right words for a message to one of your friends, so you'll have to search through the existing lines of text, and sometimes the word that you're searching for is hidden in an existing word on the page, so you'll have to kind of kick that word apart so you can pick up and toss the correct portion. Not all of the word and image combos are going to advance the story. Some of them just create a fun little interaction that you get to watch. Once you get a little bit deeper into letters and Sarah is more at that adolescent teen age, you get to make some decisions with the words that you're using and these decisions will ultimately impact the outcome of the game so your words hold a little bit more weight here. And that's really all you have to contend with here. It's a fairly simple concept and it does work quite well, but I'm a little bit mixed on this game and here's why. It's a little bit difficult to tell when you're able to walk between one page and the next. Sometimes that wasn't always intuitive and I found myself wandering around the same few lines only to discover I could have branched out to another page several times and I also found some situations where I swear I kicked the correct word to try and break it apart multiple times and wasn't able to do so, and that really held me back when I clearly knew the answer to the puzzle. The actual writing and character development and interactions with the images on screen were really well done and creative, and I do give them a lot of credit for that because it's a really fantastic idea, but it was difficult for me to play this and not compare it to lost words beyond the page. One thing that there is absolutely no denying, however, is that Letters A Written Adventure has absolutely gorgeous art. It is such beautiful hand-drawn illustrations, the text looks very realistic and pleasing to the eye, and I love the background imagery of the various computer screens and notebooks. It all just works really well together to create a really nice visual. Even though sometimes it may made the platforming elements a little bit frustrating. I loved how you could walk from screen to screen or from internet browser to an image. I have no complaints about how this game looked or how it sounded. The soundtrack is comprised of some gorgeous piano and acoustic guitar and some string instrumentation that works to create a really calming experience. Even these sound effects with the sound of scrawling letters on the page or Sarah's foot steps across these lines were really pleasing on the ears and the music text and illustrations are all very well implemented and I can't complain about any of the visuals or sound in this title. Presentation is an absolute win. It does have a shorter runtime, as I mentioned, but there are reasons to go back in and play again, especially if you're looking for a different outcome. While I did find some elements of the gameplay a little bit frustrating, I do think this is a title worth checking out if you are into puzzle platformers.
So will you be taking a page out of this book and playing Letters, A Written Adventure? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I go, I just want to thank our indie warriors, Bill T, Christian Cruz, Kevalo, Mitchell Hall, Chris Jackson, Nathan Moore, Adriana Amato, CJR, Coil, Skepticism, Haley, Julian Colbus, Jen Rose, Jesse, CPM, Bunny, JRS8, Raylan, Marky Mint, Dave Harp, Peekaboo, Lex Noyle, Eric, PSC, Adrian Garcia, King of the Hatch, Carmine Red, and Larkison. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, don't forget you can subscribe down below so you don't miss any of our reviews and check out the description box if you'd like to see how to become an indie warrior yourself. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.